guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a autumn hair and a makeup look kind of more on the glam side and a lot more cool toned. So I love my warm toned looks, but something a little cooler for the people that prefer the kind of cooler toned looks. And like I said, this is a hair tutorial as well using my Bellamy hair extensions. Because like I said, I was feeling slightly more on the glam side and I love to wear my extensions just for a bit more of volume and length. All information about the extension that I'm wearing and the tools that I'm using and stuff will be in the description down below. I do have a coupon code to get um, money off your hair extensions and it is Rach XO but like I said all information will be left in the description bar at the bottom. But yeah like I said I was feeling something a bit more cool toned so I've gone with kind of like a brownie grey lip and corresponding eyes and it's a brown winged liner as well. So yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do and let's get started. To begin with this look we're going to do our eyes first and for that I'm going to use tape and then stick it at an angle that I want my winged eyeshadow to be so I kind of imagine where the end of my brow will end and that kind of gives me a guide. Then for primer I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and set it with a powder and for eyebrows taking my dip brow and medium brown and the medium brown skinny brow pencil and then I'm taking the Tarte in the Bloom 2 eyeshadow palette and taking this warm brown shade as our initial transition colour and blending that through the crease on a MAC 224 brush. Then I'm taking this cool grey colour on a slightly smaller fluffy brush and just blending that into the crease to further define it and add more depth. You guys know the drill, this is the kind of classic steps to take for like a really well blended smoky eye. You want to just keep getting darker with your colours. Then going back in with the 224 to make sure it's all blended together before going in with the lid colour. I'm taking this shimmery kind of taupey colour on a flat brush and just pressing that across the lid and blending it into the crease colours. To make sure it's all well blended, I'm taking a slightly smaller fluffy brush, the same one as we did before, and just kind of rubbing that around, and then taking this kind of dark purpley colour. I know this is on the slightly warmer shade, on all the warmer tones, and this is a cool tone look, but I thought it complemented it well, and I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and make sure it's all blended together, but concentrating it mainly on the outer part of the eye. Then taking a slightly lighter shimmery colour, I am concentrating this on the inner part of our lid to create that light to dark gradient going across. Then taking a matte white eyeshadow from the same palette, I'm using this to highlight my inner corner and also on my brow bone to give my like lid space a bit of a lift and also brighten up my inner corner because these are quite dark and cool tone colours. Then for eyeliner, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate, which is a really gorgeous deep brown shade. And I'm using this as my eyeliner, like I said, using a Blank Canvas Cosmetics eyeliner brush. And this is why I love using tape, because you can be as messy as you want, and you know that you're still going to get that perfect sharp line. So this is perfect for anyone that's not 100% confident in their eyeliner skills, or is just generally like a messy person like me. Once you're happy with the wing, I'm then going back in with the same palette and taking this dark, dark brown shade and using this to kind of create a smoky liner effect. You just want to concentrate that where you want the eyeshadow. So for me, that was just where the wing was and a little bit going into the crease and the lid and then using a fluffy brush to diffuse that into the other colors. Going back in with my 224 again, this is like my favorite crease brush ever, just to make sure it's all diffused together. I'm never always, or I'm never picking up any excess product, I'm just using the bristles of the brush to blend it together. God, that was a mouthful. And then you want to go ahead and apply mascara. This is the Tarte Tartus Mascara, it's 100% my favorite mascara at the moment. But you know me, I love a good pair of lashes, and these are the Lily Lashes in the Style Lux. I get mine from falselashes.co.uk, and I'll leave them linked below. So this is the finished eyes and now we can move on to the skin. I'm taking the NYX First Base Primer Spray and just spraying that all over my skin and using a duo fiber brush to kind of blend it all together. Just make sure my skin absorbs it as quickly as possible and I find a brush kind of helps me achieve that. And the foundation, I'm taking an old favorite. This is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick in the shade 153. Looks super dark, but as you can see, it matches the color of the tan on my neck. So you have to ignore the kind of transition oompa loompa stage because we obviously do blend it out and when we use a lighter concealer as well. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. This helps to lighten it up on the skin so it all works out in the end, don't you worry. And I'm just placing that in all the places I wanna brighten. So for most people that is underneath the eye, on the chin, down at the bridge of the nose and the forehead. So essentially just like your T-zone and the center of your face. Thank you. 
to set that in place I've been loving this at the moment this is the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm taking the two lightest shades I think it's the banana shade and then the slightly whiter shade out of the two I think the other one's slightly more pink I'm just using that to set everywhere I place the concealer in the same palette I'm taking the warmest contour colour and just taking a big fluffy brush and using this to warm up the perimeters of my face so that tends to be obviously like my forehead and my cheeks and then like on my neck or chin and then on a more defined fluffy brush I'm taking the lighter cooler colour out of the two and using that just underneath where we place that warm bronzer colour to kind of give the illusions of kind of more deep set cheekbones and give a more contoured look and then I take a smaller fluffy brush as well and I like to apply that down the bridge of my nose. For blusher I'm taking this Glow All Out blusher from Soap and Glory. The name of it is listed down below but I think they only do one shade and I'm just using a blusher brush to apply that and for highlighter I'm taking this new gorgeous kind of golden colour from Makeup Geek. Their new highlighting range is incredible. So, so, so pigmented and they blend super easily onto the skin. I've definitely listed the name of this one down below. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. I'm just applying that on the, my cheekbones and then on my cupid's bow and nose. To finish off the eyes, I'm taking that initial shimmery silver colour and using that same fluffy brush and just running it across my lower lash line and then further kind of deepening it using that darkest brown shade just on the outer part. Then just applying bottom lash mascara and these are the finished eyes but on to the lips I'm taking this lip pencil from NYX it is like a kind of cool tone brown colour literally like the colour of coke. And then once I've applied my lip liner, I'm going in with this lipstick from Smashbox, Smashbox called Warrior Pose. And I'm obsessed with them. I've received that massive PR package with all of them in. And this is the first time I'm trying one of them. And I have to say, I am so impressed with the formula and the longevity of them. So if you haven't, definitely try them out. So this is the finished makeup look. Obviously, it's something slightly cooler than what I'm normally used to. But I do love these kind of grey tones around this time of year as well. Now it is time to glam our hair. I'm using the Bellamy Bambina 20 inch Ash Blonde set and each set comes with a little tester which you should always use first to check it matches before opening the whole packet otherwise you can't return them which you can find at the bottom but this is like I said the packet that it comes in. Bellamy also offer a hanger for your extensions which is super handy for storage and styling and also a bag to store and protect them as well. This specific set contains two four clips, two three clips, two two clips, and four single clips. So this is my hair before having extensions, so I definitely want to get some volume in. So I'm going to start sectioning off my hair, and by doing that, I'm going to leave a little bit at the bottom and just clipping the rest of my hair on top of my head. Then taking a brush, just going to back comb the roots so the extensions have something easier to grip onto. And then I'm just taking one of the two ones, placing it at the bottom, and then letting my hair down and kind of repeating the process with all the hair pieces. You want to make sure you leave enough hair in between each section to be able to cover the extensions and yeah, like I said, you just want to make your way up, just adding an increasing volume by adding the sets. The amount of clips kind of work towards the kind of size of your head so you guys will be able to figure out what size needs to go where on your own head. I do have a discount code for you guys to get dollar off the hair extension sets and it is RACHXO but I will leave that down below as well as the link to the site. As you can see, after adding all the hair, I've got so much more length and volume. You could totally leave it straight, but I'm going to take my 19mm by 19mm wand from Bellamy. It's part of their 6-in-1 curling set. Again, I do have a discount code for that as well, and it is in the description down below. I think it is Rach160, and I'm just going ahead and curling my hair. I kind of wanted, like, looser curls, which is why I put the extensions in first, and then I'm curling my hair. If I wanted more kind of precise curls, I would have pre-curled my extensions before hand then my own hair and then clipped it in but it's totally up to you I just found this way I was going to get more kind of looser messier waves so that's the kind of look I was going for 
So this is the finished result. I'm absolutely obsessed with the way that my hair looks and the makeup and everything all together. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and check the description for everything down below and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.